Jane Forsyth, a retired librarian, had moved to the charming, seaside town of Sparrows Cove just over a year ago, finding solace in the quaintness of her new surroundings. She had bought a delightful, if slightly run-down, cottage right in the heart of the town and was quite content living her peaceful, quiet life. One bright May morning, Jane was preparing for her daily stroll to Sparrows Cove Bakery when she received a frantic call from her friend. Martha, the owner of the local antique shop. Jane, you have to come over. It's a catastrophe. Martha's voice quivered with distress. Upon arriving at Martha's antiques, Jane found her friend looking visibly shaken, a creased brow marring her usually cheerful features. Martha, whatever is the matter? Jane asked, concern evident in her tone. Martha led her friend to an empty display stand. The heirloom Chinese vase, it's vanished. Jane stared at the empty space. That vase was a genuine Ming Dynasty piece, a beautiful artifact worth a fortune, the pride and joy of Martha's collection. Martha's shop had been locked overnight, with the alarm system functioning perfectly. No sign of a break-in was evident, and no other items were missing. Being known for her sharp mind and love for puzzles, Jane decided to put her detective hat on. She noticed a thin layer of dust disturbed only on the stand where the vase had been. No footprints, nothing. The mystery deepened. Jane's first instinct was to question the staff. There were only two, Lucy and Ted, both trustworthy and loyal employees for many years. Lucy had been the last one to leave the shop the previous night and confirmed she had seen the vase before locking up. Ted had been the first to arrive this morning and noticed nothing unusual until Martha discovered the missing vase. Jane scrutinized the pair. Neither showed any obvious signs of guilt or discomfort, and Jane, with her innate understanding of human nature, believed in their innocence. Remembering her librarian training, Jane turned her attention to the books. The shop's CCTV footage showed nothing unusual from the night before. However, in her meticulous examination, she found that the bookkeeping records indicated a recent, significant insurance policy taken out on the vase. Martha, who arranged this insurance? Jane asked, raising an eyebrow at her friend. With a blush of embarrassment, Martha admitted she had asked Ted to arrange it, given his experience with such matters. However, she quickly defended him, stating Ted was like family to her, and he wouldn't dream of such deceit. Nevertheless, this made Ted a person of interest, despite Jane's initial intuition. She decided to have a chat with him, away from Martha's watchful and worried eyes. When confronted, Ted looked shocked, but swiftly regained composure. He admitted arranging the insurance but insisted he had done so only to protect Martha's interests, especially with a piece as valuable as the Ming vase. He confessed he had been worried about the increasing crime rate in the neighboring towns and wanted to ensure Martha wouldn't be ruined if something happened. Jane appreciated his honesty, yet something nagged at her. Something was still missing. Later, Jane revisited the display stand and noticed something peculiar. A slightly faded circular mark near the edge, likely left by a damp glass or mug. Yet, drinks were strictly forbidden in the shop. Suddenly, the pieces started to fall into place in Jane's mind. She asked Martha to call a staff meeting immediately. Once everyone was gathered, Jane addressed the room. I believe the person who took the vase didn't do so out of malice but carelessness. Murmurs filled the room, and Jane turned to Lucy. Lucy, you always drink herbal tea in the afternoons, don't you? And yesterday, you took your cup to the display, violating the rules. Lucy gasped, blushing crimson. I, I did. I remember now. I was so engrossed with a customer query that I absentmindedly took my cup there. But when I left, I made sure the vase was safe. 
Yes, but what you didn't realize, Jane continued, is that your mug left a mark. Ted saw it this morning, assumed the vase had been stolen, and to save you and the shop from a scandal, hid it. Ted's face turned ashen. He nodded, leading them to the basement, where he revealed the vase hidden behind an old armoire. His intention had been to find it later in a location where it could have been feasibly overlooked. After a collective sigh of relief, Martha decided not to press charges, grateful that the mystery had been resolved and the vase was safe. In the end, Jane had solved another mystery, cementing her reputation as the sharp-minded, warm-hearted sleuth of Sparrow's Cove. The small seaside town was a little safer, a little more peaceful, thanks to her vigilance.